in almost every lucid dreamer I've talked to, they have uh, dry periods or kind of droughts. And sometimes it's related to what's going on in their life. Either they're too busy at work or they're in some emotional thing that's going sour and they're just not in a good frame of mind or something like that. So oftentimes that explains it. And, and once you kind of get back in the groove, then the lucid dreams come back and, and you're back to the races. Um, one thing I did discover, though, is that on occasion, if I ever had a big lucid dream where I felt like my inner self or larger awareness was trying to ask me to grow and I didn't want to grow, then it's like I stopped having lucid dreams. You know, I'd go six weeks and not have a lucid dream. And so what I've asked people to do is go back into time to where the trouble seems to have begun and see if you had a lucid dream at that time that was kind of asking you to grow as a person, to step beyond your fears, to resolve some issue or something like that. Because sometimes when our ego self comes up to that fear, the, the ego just stops and, and it'll suppress or censor uh, lucid dreaming. And so you might want to check into that to see if there was something where you were encouraged to grow or think about something new and uh, and and see see if there's something there that you need to consciously explore. Because sometimes consciously, uh, when we allow ourselves to grow, all of a sudden the lucid dreaming occurs. I had another case, a gentleman, I was out in Ireland giving a talk. A young guy said he was doing great at lucid dreaming and, and then it, it just dried up and it was like six months earlier. And, and so I, brought up this same uh, suggestion and he said he didn't think that was it and then it occurred to him by the end of the workshop he realized that six months earlier he sat down with his dad to watch the movie waking life and his father and he watched it to the very end and the kids yeah this what a great movie and the dad looks at him and goes what a bunch of rubbish and and the guy just adored his dad and for his dad to say that lucid dreaming just seemed like rubbish he said after that he stopped having lucid dreams and then he told me after having that realization about what stopped it then his lucid dream started up again so you can just see how how a lot of this can hinge on very small things you know and sometimes disapproval from other people people we care about is enough to stop us from lucid dreaming, so.